Lord mercy. Back at you with the back at you. I am the best reporting on the Eagles. So a report comes out, you know, um, what's his name? Joe, Joe Santiloquito of the Philly Voice. I think this is the same guy who actually had the uh, article basically saying that Carson Wentz was uh, not clutch. Now he's arrogant. Now he's selfish and all of this other stuff. And apparently this guy has sources in the locker room that's saying this. But the thing that's confusing to me about the sources that you have that are saying this, these guys, the leaders of the team. Now, now if none of these sources are a leader or if one of these leaders of the team that's stepping up and making you look not credible because you don't look credible right now. The leaders of the team are tweeting, basically saying that the article is complete BS. Now, listen, I get it. I get how life works. I get it. I understand that you may think that Nick Foles deserves head on demand. He does for the things that he's done for the city of Philadelphia. Nick Foles is that guy. Nick Foles is that guy. But you keep trying to pit these guys against each other. And, and, and you know, one of the most misleading stats of the season to me, in my opinion, is that Carson Wentz severely targets Nick, targets Zach Ertz way more than Nick Foles does. No. They both do it around nine times a game. It's identical, man. It's identical. We could say Carson needs to spread the ball around more. That's true. Carson needs to learn a little more. He does need to spread the ball around a little more. But to say that he's selfish, he's arrogant, and he's uncoachable, and he's bullying grow, the article was just disrespectful. I mean, you guys can look it up for yourself. I don't even like to cite garbage. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sit here and cite no garbage like that. The article is just disrespectful. And just not believable. It's just not believable at all. Now, now, if you don't have people coming, coming forth and backing Carson Wentz right now, basically saying that, hey, this isn't true, then you could kind of believe that. But I mean, it happened in a matter of minutes. This guy is basically trying his best to tear this guy down. How many articles are you going to write basically saying that Carson Wentz isn't a guy, Carson Wentz isn't that? Car Listen, Lane Johnson, Fletcher Cox, uh, who else? I think Brandon Brooks might have chimed in. Uh... A the leaders of the team, a couple other guys might have chimed in. You I mean, it's only a matter of time before you see a tweet from Malcolm Jenkins or something like that. But the stuff that this guy is spewing, I just don't believe it. I just don't believe it. And if you're a writer for the Philly Voice, obviously it's a Philadelphia-based paper or, or website or whatever it is. Why are you trying to um, cause confusion within Philadelphia sports teams? Why are you trying to do that? It don't make no sense. And it's like right after the season, it's almost like you couldn't wait to do it. It's almost like you couldn't wait to do it. So if you were sitting on this information before you put it out, why didn't you put it out during the season? Why didn't you put it out during the season? You could have put it out during the season. It just don't make any sense to me, man. It don't make any sense to me. Don't believe which, don't believe all the stuff that you read in the paper. I think it's fake news. I think it's BS. This guy's just looking for a story. I mean, had we had, had we he's just looking for a story, man. You you you, you know you could tell when somebody reaching. This guy's looking for a story. This guy has nothing else to talk about but how, but how he feels that Nick Foles is cut from a different cloth than Carson Wentz. Listen, the main thing about Nick Foles and Carson Wentz is this. Nick Foles is more seasoned. Nick Foles is a veteran, but Carson Wentz is learning. Carson Wentz will be at that level. He'll be at that level shortly. He'll be at that level shortly. If there was a problem between Carson Wentz and Nick Foles, don't you think Carson Wentz would have not brung light to his back injury and, and tried to keep playing? Don't you think something like that would have happened? Don't you think something like that would have happened? Don't you think Carson Wentz would have tried to push harder even though he was already, I think he was cleared in the beginning of the season, but uh, they just took one more game for precautionary measures. Carson Wentz has literally been Nick Foles' biggest cheerleader. Are you crazy? And this ain't doing nothing but lighting the fire, man, for Carson Wentz, man. Complete fake news, man. I don't believe a word of it. I don't believe a word of it, man. The fact that these guys are trying to stir up controversy to a well-oiled machine just lets you know. It lets you know. It lets you know one or two things. One, that our locker room is strong. Look, look at the guys that came, came to Carson Wentz's defense. I would have liked to see a little more wide receivers, um, so, some more offensive players. Um, I think Jake Elliott also chimed. He said he's with Carson almost every day. I would like to see Nick Foles um, chime in on. I just want to see everybody get behind it. I mean, I mean, you don't you don't want to feed negativity. You don't want to um, comment on negativity. I don't even think Carson. I don't think nobody else should respond to this, man. It's just sad. 
it's sad that that it's sad that that's where we are right now that everybody wants to make it seem like 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 we have something going on in our locker room no that's not the case that's not the case at all it's literally 12 degrees out here and and, and when, when it when it when it comes to fake news man i don't deal well with fake news man I don't do well with fake news. But listen, fake news holds a purpose as well. You got guys who's going to take this information and eat it up. Dudes are going to take this information and eat it up, even though it's not the right news. They're going to take this information and eat it up. Trust me. Trust me. I know. I know. Somebody's going to believe it. Somebody's going to say, oh, did you hear the comments? What do you think? But this guy and the stuff that this guy is reporting, this guy is, I don't know. I in my opinion, he's looking like a Carson Wentz hater. He's looking like a Carson Wentz hater. So if you've got multiple sources inside the locker room, you mean not one of these sources of your multiple sources are one of the guys who's coming out tweeting this? Obviously, if you've got multiple sources, those guys are replaceable. The guys you got the sources from. Because everybody that I saw is under contract with the team, is a pro bowler, and, and, and is a valued asset to the Philadelphia Eagles. So if it's some, if it's some practice squad guys you got this from who not even going to be on the field next year, who cares what they think? Who cares what they think? And like I said, the biggest misconception is that Carson Wentz don't spread the ball enough. He only targets Zach Ertz. But Carson Wentz and Nick Foles both target, both target Zach Ertz nine times a game. Fake news, just like Trump will tell you. 